Here we are in Los Alamos, New Mexico, May 19th, 2013. Just to set the date. What I have for sale here is a 1974 Volkswagen Westphalia. This one is uh, in exceptional condition and it's an unusual vehicle in that in 1974 Volkswagen produced very few white vehicles. This is originally pastel white um, and very few automatic Westphalias for sure. So it's an unusual vehicle and it's in great shape. So you can see by the plate on the front, this is originally an Iowa bus, but I, it spent the greater part of its life here in New Mexico, which has helped preserve it in such nice condition. So I'm going to do a little walk around here. As you can see, it's got uh, everything original on it, original mirrors, original glass. Check that out. Here's the VIN. 2342072984 Original light housings, hubcaps, all that good stuff. Uh, body's nice and clean and straight. It did get recently repainted including including the fiberglass roof, which is actually a good thing. Fiberglass roof after 40 years tends to be falling apart a good bit and it's a nice thing to have that um, refinished. Here you can see the VW automatic badge and here in New Mexico if a car is 30 years old you can put on a year of manufacturer plate so I've done that with an original New Mexico plate from 74 yes it says 72 that's just how they did it in New Mexico and the, oops, the original dealer badge here uh, from Iowa. Um, okay, continue the walk around. It's got the original uh, gas cap and again nice clean lines going down the thing. So let me start her up and give it a spin. Oh, I did want to show you that we're starting from dead cold this morning. Nothing, nothing hot here. Um, but I'll show you the engine later as it's running. Oh, I have brand new tires on it. These are Hankook RA08s, the proper truck rated tire for this vehicle. They are very nice. So, so we step in. This is uh, uh, the original upholstery for the front seats in remarkably good shape. I did repad them with foam from uh, Sofine, which is the premier Volkswagen upholstery shop uh, here in the United States, anyway. You can see uh, just a little upfront stuff. Uh, glove box is in pristine condition. It comes with the uh, not original <laughs> uh, hubcap removal tool. That'll keep your hubcaps in good shape. You can see things are in great shape up here. There's the automatic shifter. I always travel with a fire extinguisher and my seat belt here. Here's the dash. You can see the Mileage at 92,000 and a little bit. That's the odometer reading. Oh yes, and of course, funny thing, even in a car this age, the buzzer has to work. <laughs> okay, seat belts, everyone. Let's give this a shot. I, I hope you can hear that that beautiful VW engine sound. Everything up here is in order. Let's, uh, let's take her a drive. Fortunately for an automatic, I don't even have to deal with the shifter while I'm doing the video. Put it in drive. Off we go. Let's see. shifts at appropriate points. 
we'll go to the closest thing we have to a highway in this town where I can get it up to at least a little over 50 miles an hour without breaking the speed limit. Brakes work well. Let's just, uh, I'll, I'll slam on the brakes here for a second. So you can see that there's no locking up of wheels or anything like that. You can see things all in order back there. There's a big clunky American camper. What you don't want, this is what you want. Okay, wait for the traffic to subside. Blink, blink. All the lights work as they should. There we go. Okay, listen. smooth shifting, the automatic transmission is working very well. I'll get to the next speed soon. Horn works. Bit of scenery looking across the Rio Grande Rift Valley, east from Los Alamos. The mountains are about 40 kilometers distant from here with the Rio Grande River running in between. Part of why we enjoy living here. And this is about as much traffic as you'll ever see in this town. Here's our airport. If you want, you can fly in here, walk to the house, and come pick up the bus and drive it home. Okay, people, here's where we need to speed up. <laughs> They're not going to let me speed up. I'll let them get ahead a little bit. Okay. So here we go. We're at 40. We're at 50. Actually, since no one's behind me, I'll slow down. We can go, th go through all the gears again. Let's start from pretty much a stop. these vehicles have an exceptionally wonderful tight turning radius. Look at that. Go through them again.
bones about it. You do feel the wind in this vehicle. This type of vehicle, not just this one in particular. Side soon. These are um, new replacement um, visors. The visors did need replacing. to go through the gears again. And air conditioning, uh, there is no air conditioning. See the automatic shift pattern, not that there's much to it. I guess I'll, uh, I'll put it into reverse as I back into the parking spot here. There we go. Is it reverse clunk? While we have the engine running, let's go take a look at it. These are original seat belts that work as well as they ever did. Oh, and the buzzer, yes, the buzzer. Oh, one thing that the light switch back here operates that light camper light. The door switch operates this light, the buzzer and the light. So let's check out the engine. Set perhaps just a little high. 
uh, because an automatic when you put it into drive you want it just you want that to be the good idle okay I had enough of that buzzer I do have keys that are cut to code the key is cut um, professionally to code and works in all the locks and the ignition and all that so let's walk around here go inside I can't believe it's actually sprinkling a little bit very unusual for New Mexico but the windshield wipers work we can, you can see the the door cards in excellent shape all the carpet is nice uh, some of the plastic has just gotten so brittle and then looking back you can see this uh, that's, this door works latches just as it should very nice all the interior here this is uh, this is the original green and blue plaid uh, curtains are replacement curtains. Um, here we have the full width bed, which is a nice feature of the 74, 75. Um, okay, cabinetry, this little shelf that you get for when you're working outside. This has a button over here. This is a special place. I guess you'd put food and spices and stuff in there. The laminate is a little loose, but it's only broken in two places. There's one here. I have that piece hiding in here. Yes, there's that piece. And there's a bit in the corner back there. Also have that piece to be repaired. Of course, you'll want a Bentley manual to go with it. Um, this is the ice box. Okay, well, accidentally hit the off button there. There's the ice box. It does not have a propane refrigerator or a stove, just the uh, ice box there. Um, more cabinetry back here. It's a little storage area behind the sink and tank. Here's the sink. Got nice plenty of water. It just drains out onto the street below. <laughs> um, oh, and here's the stool get to that next. Uh, here's the water tank. It uh, holds a good bit of water and another storage area underneath that with access to the water pump. There we go. Um, here's where the stool lives. There's a little latch for tying it in if you want. It's the original camp stool. How about that? That's actually a, a pretty good find right there. Here is the, the main table. The table pulls up with a firm tug there. And the leg drops down. If you really want to be secure, you can screw that into the floor there. And the table, as if that's not enough, it has this little extension feature. So you get the extra pull-out table, and with that and the stool, three or four people can eat comfortably here. And there's a little latch under there. Set this back down. Stow the table. There's the button there. This goes up under here. Let's see, it snaps in. Table snaps in with a firm wrap right in front of the outlet. There's an electrical outlet down there. If you want to plug in, uh, you get well, at least one 10 volt here in the US. Even has the original stickers in multiple languages. How about that? So then, uh, let's see the bed. I'm going to put the camera up front here. Still recording, yes. Let's see if I can shoot from here. Kind of balance it. Mm. Not sure. Oh, wait, here's an idea. Okay. 
Assuming you can see what's going on. Pull the bed out. Plops down into the full width bed. Very nice. And uh, let me let me show you how the upstairs works. If this camera will stay here. Hang on. Okay. So we unlatch, and there are little ties to hold the canvas in place when you're driving. Undo those and we're ready to go up. And let's make sure everything's in good shape. Yes. Up we go. Ah. And we push the canvas up like so. And oh, there's a little moth. Come on, mothy. Off you go. There. I bet you're glad to be out of there. So, now we have the full width bed up here, which works like so. And pull out, I'll do this one handed. There you go. Pull it forward. Got the whole bed. These unzip to give you lateral uh, ventilation up here. And this is actually the more comfortable bed in the house, I think. And we'll put that down. This is the original canvas getting a little bit brittle, but the, uh, uh, you know, it still has the uh, bug screen behind there. You unzip all that and you're in great shape. And you can just sleep up there. It's very nice. Lots of ventilation. Um, and what else is there? I think I showed you in the back the bug screen and the bug screen goes across here it lives in this cabinet so here we are in camping mode not sure what else there is to show you but I think that gives you a really nice idea of the condition of the bus and we can look at it from a distance with that top up. Ready to go camping. And at this point, I would not hesitate to drive this across country with reasonable spares, like points on the rotor and stuff like that. Um, I think uh, it's quite capable. Gosh, you can see the wind blowing up here. Okay, so there it is, 74 Westie. Um, hope, uh, hope that you can enjoy it. Actually, I did think of uh, one other thing, is I wanted to show that this window back here, often these are rusted out. This one is in fine shape. Works great. Works just like new. And the Jalousy windows open up like this. These work just fine as well. You see they crank open and then you get all the ventilation you might want for when you're camping and shutting out the rain when you need to. So there we are.